What's up guys, we're back with more coin roll hunting. We have a box of dimes today. We're gonna be looking for silver proofs, any kind of foreigns. I did take a look, they are circulated, which is a good sign. Let's do a live opening. All right, I'm not seeing anything, but some discoloration, some paint maybe. Someone looks a little take a quick look. Not just two thousand. Alright we're gonna start here and uh basically just edge hunting mostly and uh we'll bring you in if we find anything. Roll number fifteen you can actually see it through the wrapper. That is a really nice looking edge. Probably a 1964. Oh wow, that's that's in really nice shape. 64D. That is almost that is mint state. All right, we're on the board. Let's keep looking. We're actually on the same roll. I pushed this wrapper back. Looks like we have another silver right there. Two silvers and one. Oh, Canadian silver. 1950. I have to do some research. These might be 80% silver. King George. Really nice. Let me just do a quick Google. I think they're 80%, but let me confirm that. Just confirmed it. 80% silver. First Canadian of the box. Let's keep looking. Roll 24 just popped it out open. Got another silver edge there. Let's take a look together. Let's look, uh, 1957. Philadelphia. Have to see if that fills a spot in the book. Roll number 40, just as a quick update, I also did find another Canadian dime, 2020, obviously non-silver. But I'm bringing you in because we're looking at another silver, it looks like. That looks a little old. I'm hoping that's going to be a mercury dime. And it's not, but it is silver. Philadelphia, 1954. Fourth silver of the box. That is a really good, really good number. I usually find maybe one or two, but four is excellent. Add it to the board. We'll keep looking. Four silvers. Well, we're all done with that box. That finds our four silvers: the 64D, 57, and 54P. The 1950 Canadian dime, 80% silver. This weird painted dime that I'll just probably spend somewhere instead of putting it through the bank's machine. And the 2020 non-silver. I checked the books. Neither of them, none of them fill a spot in my album. They will just go into the 2022 collection. These are all the finds from 2022. Well, most of them. And we'll just toss them in there. This is almost all of this is almost all of the silver I found. A lot of hail. Some a lot of two Canadian. And uh, hopefully we can add to it. What I'm gonna do is we're gonna do a quarter box hunt. I'll marry it to this video and we'll bring you in for a live opening. All right, we're back with the quarter box now. They are circulated. I did check the other side of these to make sure they are circulated, which I did see. Let's go ahead and do a live opening. Just a big mix, not a lot of new stuff. 2019, 2022. 
Not seeing anything too fancy schmancy. We'll start with roll number one. We're looking for silver W's and kind of varieties, errors. We're going to take a look and I'll bring you in on the first find. We're on roll number one. And I'm bringing you in because this 2021 Washington coin, there is a cud error that you can look for right on the top of the cap there. You see it? Now there's more a more pronounced one, but that's pretty good. That's probably the biggest I've seen as far as the cut is concerned. That might be an eBay listing. Probably get a few bucks for it. There's a little bit of gunk or something on it, but uh, I will set that aside. That is a find, and uh, we'll keep looking. Well, roll number three. Just got the quarters laid out. Just pop the roll. Almost an ender. We got some silver. Oh, yeah. 1942. Denver. That might actually fill a spot in the album. That is awesome. Almost an ender. All right. Oh, man. I hope we find some more. Only th the third roll in. Well, we're all done with that quarter box. We only have the 1942D silver quarter. The die chip Washington. That's probably the biggest on this coin that I've seen. Not in the greatest condition. And I also found a really nice spitting horse variety. If you can see that, looks like the horse is spitting. It's got a die chip there. Put it under the scope for you. See right there. The spitting horse variety. Really good shape. Probably hang on to that one just because of the condition. All right, thanks for watching. If you liked it, please... Uh, Hit that like button and we'll see you on the next one.